The next lecture in our course is about arrays in TypeScript. What we're going to see? We're going to see how we can declare and create arrays. We can see how can we access array elements. After that, how we can process array elements, dynamic arrays, and how we can operate with arrays. So how we can make concatenation, slicing, and different type of manipulation. So creating, declaring, and creating arrays. Let's see now. I want to create array which holds integers. In that case, I'm going to say let numbers, which is the name of my variable, and I specify the type which is numbers array. Then I'm giving the value, and the value is with square brackets. I'm here listing all my items that will be inside that array. After that, I can say array which is holding strings. Well, I'm saying let weekdays, for example, two dots, and my type is string array. Here we just had number array. Two square brackets means basically array. And here I'm defining my values. So open square bracket and start define one by one, separated with comma. String Monday, string another one, comma, string, comma, etc., etc., and then just close the square bracket. I can also have array of different types. Then I'm saying let mixed array and the type will be any from array. In that case, I can have, for example, one, which is number, new date, which is from type date, and hello, which is string. What else we can have is array of arrays, and this is called macri matrix or two-dimensional array. Where what I'm saying, I'm having let matrix, and this is from type string array array. When you have like that, square brackets, this means that this will be two-dimensional array. And then I'm opening my array, and inside it, as items, I have defined different arrays. How I can declare and initialize arrays? Well, initializing an array in TypeScript can be done in three ways. First, using new array with elements. So I can say let uh, arr is from type number array and is equal to new array and here specify the values. The second option is using new array with initial length. So again, I'm giving the type number array and I'm saying new array with 10 elements. But in that case, then one by one, I should specify, for example, that array on index 2 is this value on index 3, etc., etc., for all of them. Third option is using array literal, which is basically the recommended. And that's what we saw in our previous slide. So I'm saying let array, number array is equal to square brackets, and here I just specify all the values that I will have. 